what's up you guys this is Keita's creations and I am back with another video now this look took about 20 minutes now I'm going to give you all the secrets on how to achieve this look in 20 minutes I know we have things to do places to go as being mothers and wives so if you want to know how I achieve this look just keep watching So hello guys again, so for the eyebrows, we're going to go on with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the color Ebony. So I'm just taking my MAC angle brush and you just see me just tracing my eyebrows. And then I'll be filling them, filling them in with the same product, my Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'll just, you know... Um, coloring in into my liking if I want a light or darker um, and then after that I'll just um, go over the spoolie and just brush them out brush them fine edges out now you see me um, with my LA Girl LA Pro and on my flat brush and I'm just going to be uh, outlining my eyebrows underneath for my eyebrows to conceal them to define them more And you can define your eyebrows any way you like, but you never want to go over on the top part of your eyebrows with the concealer. You always want to go in with um, a foundation in the same color as your skin, which you'll be seeing in a little bit. But right now, I'm just concealing the lower part of my eyebrows, and just I'm just gonna blend that in after I get the. Uh, the right shape that I want. I'm gonna just take up right there my um my fluffy brush and I'll just my little takes me fluffy brush and just bring it all in. And um right here I'm gonna go with the I'm gonna go in with my th 335 um Maybelline Fit Me and this is when I go over top of my um I love this foundation. I'm gonna go over top of my eyebrows. So you're going to have that halo effect, and I'm going to carve that in. Well, I'm going to carve my eyebrows out with that on top. So when you apply your foundation, it gives you a seamless look. So you're going to have like a light halo over top of your eyebrows. So you really want the halo basically underneath, basically as a highlighter, if that makes any sense. I'm taking that same flat brush, just wiped it off, and just applying the product. Then normally I go back in with my Anastasia dip brow, and I just color it in. If you want darker or you want it lighter, um, depending on how I feel. Sometimes I want to go darker than other days. Sometimes I want to go lighter than other days. But um, it's up to your personal, um, a personal uh, preference. And as you see, um, I'm telling you, do not start from the beginning to go lighter. And you want to keep that um, ombre effect. So I'm taking again that my real technique fluffy brush and just brush in the middle. You don't want them connected. You don't want your brows. You just want them to just be um, nice and faded into the brow, the beginning of your brow. Then as you see me going again with my um, Fit Me, Maybelline Fit Me. In the shade 335, and I'm just cleaning it up. Just check it out. Our eyebrows are supposed to be sisters, not twins, so if they one is higher than the other, it's okay, it's not under the world. So right now I'm just taking my um, concealer, my um, LA, LA Girl concealer, and I'm just applying it all over my lid and underneath of my eye with a medium fluffy brush. This is a 20 minute makeup tutorial, or I'm sorry, application, so you know, you want to make things easy as possible. So I'm going back in with my LA Girl concealer. And this is this is the color Medium Honey. And I'm just going in and just doing all my highlighter areas. And then I'm going in again, well, I'm going in with my Charlotte Tilbury for my contour. So you see I didn't put any 
foundation on my face yet. Just do all my contour highlights right now. Again, I'm taking that same fluffy brush, that little fluffy brush, and just blending it all out. Blending everything all out to my liking. You, you can blend it, um, you can blend it as light as you want. You know, if you want it seamless, you want it, you want to pack it in. To your discretion again i'm running my two faced palette and i'm going to be using three shades on my eyelid it's i'm not looking for a certain look i'm just applying color it's not going to be a certain shape no cut crease no nothing these are the three colors that i'm going to be applying and i'm going with that burgundy shade first for like a, a transparent color and then the uh, glitter is going to be um underneath for like my uh my arch and then a darker color is on the outer side of my the outer side of my eyes. You'll see what I'm doing. I'm, I'm going in right now with my uh, that burgundy color I showed you guys, and I'm just applying that all over my lid. It doesn't have to be perfect. My lid. I'm using it as my lid color and a transparent color. Smudging my all smudging my color all over my lid. Like I said, you can still blend it and just keep it, you know, just keep that, try to keep that color on there. Because when you go through, when you go to um, other colors, sometimes other color seems to um, fade out and you just gotta go back and apply them. But now you see me apply that dark color. Now I'm, I'm applying that glow color on the um the arch of my brow and just blend it in just blend in the colors now i'm using my nyx liquid matte liner in black and just putting a little ring in there i love my wings now i'm going to show you guys nyx matte liquid liner you can blend thick as you want thin as you want We're gonna get ready for the um, foundation. I'm gonna take my elf, my elf mist, and I'm gonna just mist it all over that face because the contour and highlight's been sitting. So you just wanna just break it up. You know, get it moisturized so it can blend. It probably dried a little bit, but it's okay. That's what the mist is for. You spray it on your face to get it loosened up. Taking a little bit of foundation is all you need for the whole face, and then I just blend everything in, everything. It's okay, it's not gonna hurt you blend everything because contour and highlight, that's what that's what the names are for, contour and highlight. So when you blend it in, it doesn't look all one color. It looks highlighted and contoured. So right now I'm just taking a, a black um, pencil and I'm just doing my, uh, my little line. And I just took that same color as on my lid and I put it underneath of my eye. That is about it, and um, oh no, it's not. It's not it. That is my translucent powder, maybe a fit me, and just put it all in the highlight areas, prevent you from, um, you know, getting those wet marks on your face if you're sweating. So use a translucent powder. Some people don't like to do it because it makes it look white, but you gotta find your color. That's why it makes it look white. So just put that on the highlighted area where I put my highlight creams. It's cream then powder always. Oop, I think I missed the spot. Yeah, I'm just gonna blend that out with the same foundation brush. 
you know, I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, bronzer, and I'm just going to um, bring some more uh, warmth to my face. Look how shiny my head is. <laughs> I should have contoured that while I was at it. Make sure you get under that chin so I can blend in. You see how it's contour, how I like contour, that's how it's supposed to look. And I'm going to with my black radiance blush and I'm just going to, you know, put some color into my cheeks. And also around my forehead. And around my chin. <laughs> and I'm going to my wet and wild. This is my shimmer to give me some highlights. Pow! Yes, mamas. So yes, I'm just checking everything out, looking to see if everything is in place. Yep, and I think that is it. And voila, there you have it. If you're new to my channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. Keep those notifications and bells open so you see every video that I put out. Thank you for watching. Until next time. <laughs> Peace out, guys.